there's a description of the Coney Island drainage area. It's uh, total acres are about 3,470 acres totally. And the combined area is in that top portion, and that's what we really focus on for CSOs. That's where CSOs are generating. It accounts for 24% of the area. The majority of the area is really separate or direct drainage. And again, I mentioned it's a separate issue. It's much better, but you have to watch out for illicit connections in those areas. But that's how it's set up right now. Uh, the CSO right now accounts for 75 million gallons per year, as I mentioned earlier. And the stormwater discharge accounts for about 1,400 million gallons per year, 1.4 billion gallons per year. So that's 95% of the volume going into the into Coney Island Creek. And the stormwater has a mul multiple number of outfalls. So the uh, pie chart here shows all, you can see that it's hard to read on there. You see all the dots on the map from all the MS4 outfalls and stormwater outfalls. Of those, New York City DEP has 11 of them. Uh, the DOT has four of those, and the, the remainder are really small ones. A lot of just kind of near shore points, so it's just private property, just small pipes going into the creek. So there's a number of just other ones that aren't typically regulated, but they still contribute to the stormwater loads to the creek. 